Hey everybody, it's time for another break, and tonight we are doing 2019 Topps Archive Signature Series. Uh, I have 100 boxes of these to open up tonight, and um, that's a lot of boxes to do. I think we can get through them pretty quick. I won't do a slow reveal on every single one. I'm hoping that we find some of the best cards in here. Uh, like Mike Trout autograph, Christian Yelich autos, uh, Clayton Kershaw, who's on the box. We'll see what we find. We did this once before and uh, pulled some one one ones and stuff like that, but uh, did not get the big hit, which would be like the Mike Trout or Aaron Judge or Kershaw or any of that stuff. So hoping our luck changes tonight. The way we are breaking this up is uh, 250 box breaks, and these are all the people in Break J. Break J is sold out. Um, there's all the people in there. And uh, we also have Break K, and there's two spots left in Break K. Uh, the Nationals, so looking for Juan Soto for the Nationals, and the Royals are also available. If no one takes them, then I will take them. Uh, so here we go. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Hello, everybody, and let's get started here. We're also giving away this George Brett rookie card. It's sometime during this stream. So here we go. Box number one of Break A. Ryan Ripley with the first Super Chat on the night says, Love the show. Hoping for hits. Thank you very much, Ryan Ripley. Hope we get some good ones tonight. All right. Our first hit is going to be a Patrick Corbin 26 of 39. Well, Now, we're doing this a little bit differently. Um, instead of going by the box like we did previously, I figured that we would make it a little interesting and do it by the team. So this one goes to our Diamondbacks owner, which in this case is Linda W. Linda W. is the first hit of the night. Congratulations, Linda. Uh, Patrick Corbin, of course, is on the uh, Nationals now, but he's on the D-backs in that uni, so that one goes to Linda. Linda can't join us tonight. Um, she is not able to watch, but she said she'll be here uh, probably watching the replay, I think. How does Linda do it? I don't know the D-backs of all teams. Uh, great choice. Legendary Linda hits again. All right, box number two is going to be a Ozzy Albies rookie card auto. That's a good one. That is a nice one. Ozzy Albies numbered 47 of 99. And Link Jacob 10 High says, um, well, he doesn't say anything. He tips us 99 cents. Link Jacob, thank you very much for the uh, nice super chat there. Really appreciate that. Check him out, guys. And this one is going to our Braves owner, which is Wayne C. Congratulations, Wayne C. That is a good one. Ozzy Albies, rookie card auto. Nice all-star right there. I always like to put these in team bags after I pull them out of the box just because, um, you know, if they rub together, I don't want any smudging or not smudging, but little imperfections in the glass cases. So I, I always put them into um, these little team bags. So that's number two going to Wayne C. That's a good one. Next up. All right, box number three. One card per box. Yeah. <laughs> Kingsler thought we were opening 100 boxes with, like, multiple packs. That would literally take forever. That would probably finally be that epic, um, I want to see, what were we talking about, doing a 24-hour live stream one of these days. And Paul Loco is just listening, listening to Gray Street before that. One of my favorite of all time. Love that song. I used to love it when it was three verses. They changed it back in 2000 and was it like 2002 for Conan? They shortened it. And we have an Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar, 38 of 74. He's having a great season this year. Eduardo Escobar, 2015 tops card. He's on the Twins there, so that one goes to the Twins owner, which is Dustin C. Congratulations, Dustin C., on your Eduardo Escobar. And I think I just saw a super chat. Let me go back up and check that one out. Um, Patreon Pirates has got my Patreon pack. It had a lot of value. Thanks. Patreon Pirate, thank you very much. I've been working on getting out some more um, today. I think what I'm going to do for those of you that are Patreon members is probably um, either tomorrow or Tuesday. Hold on a second. Just got to lay one box there. Um, maybe put up a post saying what or whose packages are still pending and haven't sent out yet. Um, just so you know, most of them... Will like pretty much everyone's gonna go out by Tuesday, but some people 
If they're in like Germany and Canada, they might have to wait an extra month or two. Just because like if you're a $7 member and you live in Canada, it costs like $15 to ship the cards. So I usually wait a few months. Might do that. Anyway, here is our next card. And we just got a notification here that somebody just purchased. It looks like the Royals, I think. Tim M. I think he just picked up the Royals. Thank you very much, Tim, in the next break. So I think we only have the uh, Nationals left. Next card, it's a Corey Dickerson, number 10 of 66. He's rumored to be uh, on the trading block. But uh, his shoulder's a little bit hurt, so I'm not exactly sure what is going to happen with him. But Corey Dickerson goes to the Rays. The Rays are owned by, you guessed it, Linda W. with uh, her second hit. Linda W., congratulations on the Corey Dickerson. Have I shipped the Diamond Icons yet? I've shipped uh, four. There was 40 cards. I think I have six left to ship. Um, so if you haven't gotten yours yet, it will be coming, hopefully before I get out to uh, Chicago for the National, I'm trying to get everything up to date and um, clear out my backlog of stuff. Yeah, I heard that uh, Stroman got traded today. That's, I'm going to have to read a little more about that. All right, here's our next one. It is a David Peralta from the Diamondbacks, and Bauer's just tanking his value on purpose as Bone CK. I don't know. Bauer said he's only going to sign year-to-year -year contracts. He doesn't believe in multi-year deals, so that would be kind of dumb of him. Um, I don't know because... It doesn't really matter much to me because I'm rooting for the Twins to win that division. This is It's really tough to see. I think it's 17 out of 38. And this one is going to the Diamondbacks. You guessed it. That's Linda W. again with the D-backs. Great choice on the D-backs. David Peralta obviously not on the D-backs anymore, but Linda gets that one. All right, box number, I don't remember, five? 357 MAGA says, best channel ever is the Chrome Break live next week. Yes, 357 MAGA, it will be live on Wednesday night at um, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central. Vesture, how's it going? And I'm um, only going to do two cases of that. And I think my brother is going to assist me on Wednesday. He's going to be like ripping the packs in one corner. I'll be shuffling through them in the other. And like, I'll be shuffling through them here. He'll be opening there, probably. Uh, we have like a two-hour window to do it on uh, Wednesday night, it looks like. And um, and then once I get back from the National, it looks like Saturday we'll break some more of those. And Greg Wise with a $5 Super Chat says, Got my Patreon pack. Open the packs. The 89 Fleer had two Billy Ripken blackouts in the same pack. That's pretty awesome, Greg. Uh, I always like to throw those 89 Fleer in there when I have them in stock for you guys just because there's a chance at finding the Griffey Rookie the Billy Rifkin blank face card, uh, the Randy Johnson rookie with the Marlboro uh, ad in the background. And our next one is a Tyler O'Neill. Tyler O'Neill, of course, now on the Cardinals, but this one's going to the Mariners owner. The Mariners are owned by Gary N. Congratulations, Gary N. Gary N., if I'm not mistaken, big Mariners and also um, Giants fan. And uh, True Seeker said I missed a super chat. I think I got 357 and also Greg W., I think I'm up to date. If I miss you, I'm really sorry. I'll scroll back through and double check. I think I got everybody. So Tyler O'Neill, a young Tyler O'Neill there with the Mariners is our next card. Put that one in our box there. All right, next box. Robin says, I got my Patreon package a week ago. Yeah, Robin, I I do tend to do them in waves or tiers. It's um, I got multiple tears so i try to start usually like mid midway through the month like i think i start like july 14th or 15th this month next one it is a franklin barreto raking rookies rookie card that one is going out to the athletics owner which is none other than richard db richard db that's richard b congratulations big athletics fan he picks up the athletics pretty often in the breaks Franklin Barreto rookie card, and it is a one of one. Nice eye there. I almost missed that one. One of one. Very nice. Our first one of one of the night for Richard B. Very nice. And to be a um, to participate in the breaks to get early access, you just have to be the lowest level. Um, the uh, different value tiers is just I send you extra cards. Uh, thank you very much, Ben. Really appreciate that. And uh, Mike G says, hey, Eric, national videos. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to do at least one from there. Maybe do like a walk around and show you everything there. 
I did one last year. I don't know if you guys were around last year, but I did one last year just showing what, what we picked up. I don't know how long the video will be, though, because a lot of the time it's just going to be me and my brother just, like, raiding the um, quarter boxes and 50-cent boxes and dollar boxes for probably, like, an hour or two. All right, here is our next one. It is... A Brandon Nimmo, 11 of 32 for the Mets. Brandon Nimmo, 11 of 32. That one goes to the Mets owner. James S. gets this one. James S., congrats. Got a hit here. And by the way, we also have a bonus box of Optic at the end of each round to get you guys an extra chance at some autos. I purchased um, an extra half case for myself after I sent out a couple of those boxes to um, some of my top Patreon patrons, the top guys. They picked optic i had some boxes left over so i distributed some of the packs amongst my patreon patrons and had two boxes left over so i figured what the heck we'll just do these as a bonus in this break uh jane w says eric is the archives with retired players called series two it's just called archives signature series retired player additional say retired player edition up there and i think that comes out in october our next one is a jacob de grom how about that back-to-back -back mets hits and uh, 9 out of 10, Jacob deGrom, your Cy Young Award winner last year for the Mets, James S. Going back-to-back -back there. Very nice, James. Nice Jacob deGrom. Like that one a lot. Yeah, Tim, I hope you're doing all right. I heard about your injury there. You got sent home from your tournament. That really stinks. Hopefully you recover quickly. We're back to 100% uh, soon. But Jacob deGrom was a nice one there. Allen and Ginter. Like that card a lot. That one... Uh Probably, player-wise, the best card so far. Have that one-on-one -on -one in there still. All right, here's our next one. I really want to pull a Trout or a Judge tonight. Justin says, breaks. How do we purchase into them? Well, basically, I put them on my Patreon page, and um, it's kind of like your tip-off. I say, all right, these are live, and I post that link like literally the minute the eBay listing goes live. I usually schedule them for like a certain time. Like I think this last week I scheduled them for like 7.50 p.m. And so I posted the link on Patreon at 7.50 p.m. so that everyone could go in there and buy the teams that they wanted first. Um, anyway, here we go. It's another Eduardo, or Eddie Rosario this time. Sorry, Eddie Rosario. Not Eduardo Escobar. Got fooled there for a second. But Eddie Rosario, that one goes to the Twins, which is Jason, no, Dustin C again. Dustin C. Congratulations, Dustin C. on your second Twins hit. So kind of Twins heavy so far. Mets heavy and Diamondbacks heavy. Next box. Let you know uh, when we get through 20. I have five cases opened up and ready to go. So that's kind of how I'll figure out when we hit 50. I'll do 20, then 20 more. That'll take us to 40. Then I'll take out 10 boxes out of the next case. All right, our next one is a Mitch Moreland. And that's a Bowman rookie card there. First Bowman card, Mitch Moreland. It's number 35 of 89, and that one is going to our Texas Rangers owner, which is Justin M. gets this one. Congratulations, Justin M., on your Mitch Moreland. It's a nice one. Mitch Moreland's not a bad player. Plays for the Red Sox now. Moving right along. Let's see what we have in this box here. I like these kind of breaks because I don't have to really sort the cards out too much. I mean, uh, each person might get one, two, maybe three cards. Here we go. It is a... This is a good one. It's a Yankee. And Dustin Van... Sorry, got covered up there by a notification. Dustin Van Diemen, or Demon, with a $2 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Dustin. Really appreciate that. If you guys would like to check out Dustin's channel and give him some subs, I'd appreciate that. All right, our Yankees hit, by the way, this is for Wayne C. It's a Dellen Batances rookie card auto out of five, which is nice. Dellen Batances rookie card, Bowman rookie card there. That is a nice card there. Out of five. And uh, there's the back of it. Very nice. Dellen Batances for Wayne. Wayne likes his, um, looks like Yankees and Braves. You got the Yankees and Braves in this break. Good choices. Some good players there. On the checklist. Hope you get the Aaron Judge. You already got an Albies. All right, here's our next one. 
If we see you at the National, can we say hi? Of course, Ethan. Come up and say hello. All right, our next one is... Oh, that's another one for Wayne. It's a Braves card there, Michael Soroka, and it is a first Bowman card, Mike Soroka card, and JTM with a $5 super chat. Thank you very much, JTM. Says, got my first Patreon package. I have not opened a Topps Wax pack in 30 years. Thanks, Jazz. Well, thank you, JTM. Really appreciate that. I hope you had fun opening those up. And Robert Rathman says, A's walk off. Go A's. Very nice. Uh, congratulations to the Athletics. I'll uh, have to check how they're doing in the standings. I think they've been playing better ball of late. Sometimes it's, I get a little bit behind in keeping up with everything, especially um, when things get busy around here. But that is numbered out of 72, 72 of 79. Mike Soroka, first Bowman card for Mr. Wayne C. Congratulations on that one. Moving right along to about halfway through the box. This might be uh, maybe a little more than halfway through the box. Altuve got his 15, 1500th hit today, says Terry. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Sterling Marte got his 1,000th hit today, so kind of a milestone day. And Greg Wayroch, or Greg Greg W. with a $20 Super Chat. Greg, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. Um, that's awesome, man. Greg W., really appreciate the support. Check his channel out, guys. Go to his channel. Just click on his $20 Super Chat and go to his channel and hit that sub button. I would much appreciate that. Very, very nice. Our next one, by the way, speaking of the A's, we have an athletics hit, and it's a good one here. It's a Matt Chapman, 75 of 79. That's our second Matt Chapman that we've pulled. Uh, Darren C. got the first Matt Chapman out of the first box that we ever opened of 2019 archives. So that is a good one. That one's going to Richard B. also. Got a home run derby slash all-star participant right there, Matt Chapman. Arguably the best fielding third baseman in the game. Um, either him or Nolan Arenado. Here, uh, you know, arguments for both of those guys. All right, here's our next one. Who's my least favorite pirate? Uh, probably Chad Cool. That is, if you don't count the... Um, Bullpen catcher Jordan Comedina, he's the worst. But uh, Chad Cool is really, really bad. All right, here's our next one. This one is, take a quick peek, it's an Astro. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say Fultonavich. What do you guys think? We've seen a lot of uh, Fultonavich. It's a Mike Fires. Mike Fires. I was thinking maybe Fultonavich, but no, it's Fires. And that one goes to the Linda W. Linda W. has the Astros, so... Uh, she's gotten a hit on every team. I think she has three teams in the break, and she now has another one. Mike Fires, 34 of 78. 34 of 78. Very nice. All right, looks like we are on box number... What is this? 16, 17, 18, 19. I think this is box 16 here, guys. You should try football sometime. I don't know enough about football to really feel comfortable doing that. Um, I just, um, try to stick with the stuff I know the best. I've been collecting baseball cards since I was a little kid, so. Someone just said, one of one, calling it. Let's see here. It is a Jeremy Jeffress, 89 of 99, Jeremy Je Jeffress, for the Brew Crew. That one goes to Keith H., Keith H. I hope you have a Christian Yelich in the future. Why is Chad Cool one of your most hated? Oh, he's. I don't really want to get into it too much. Just some personal experiences with him. All right, here's the next one. I don't know about the Stroman trade. I got to look over the prospects. But it uh, looks like the uh, Blue Jays are going to get a little bit younger, rebuild. Next one is a good one. Blake Snell, Cleveland Car Connection. How's it going? And Spitball Bro says, we say eat the gum. Don't expect it to be very much like gum, though. It's more like Necco wafers or, or Tums. You can only live once. We ate it on our channel. If you want to see some people eat some gum and get their reactions, check out Spitball Bros. And Greg W. says, great channel, Jabs. Would love to get into the draft. Love me some Royals. Greg W., 
Uh, thank you very much. I think the Royals are sold out. I think the break is sold out now. But if you want to check on in the description, there are some spots for um, Topps Chrome still left over. Uh, the Royals might still be available there. Really appreciate that, Greg. Check out Greg's channel, everybody. And um, we got a one-on-one -on -one here again, guys. It's a Blake Snell one-of-one. -one, and this is pretty cool. It's like a dual signature there. Uh, the archive signature always has a printed signature on the card. And he signed it again right underneath it. And it is a one of seven. You're right, Aaron. We thought it was a one of one. It kind of looks like a one of one if you hold it down there. But if you look a little closer, it's actually a one of seven, which still isn't bad. Not quite as good as a one of one, though. And um, 357 Maga says, What made you sell by team rather than spot like last time? I skipped this time because I got a double Herrera last time. That's exactly why I didn't sell it by the box, 357 Maga, because some people were getting. Um, you know, for $50 a box plus five shipping, I think it was like $55 when all said and done per card. If you're getting a Dubal Herrera and stuff like that, I felt really bad for you. So at least if you have the Phillies now and you get a Herrera, you might have a chance to get some other different cards in there as well. Um, Blake Snell, American League, Cy Young Award winner this. We got them both. Jay says, our baseball signed with a $25 Patreon package. Do you mean signed by a player or signed by me? They're just... Um, they're, they're actual, real Major League Baseballs that I caught either in games or batting practice, mostly from batting practice. Uh, they're not signed, but if you want me to sign one, you can request it, and I'll do that. Uh, I think for that, that tier, you get a baseball, you get three packs of cards, you get a couple of random bonus cards. Patreon Pirate says, ate the 87 tops come yesterday against the wife's advice. Did you come out of it okay? Thank you very much, Patreon, for the uh, $2 super chat. Hope you guys will check him out. Um, I haven't eaten too much gum, although I will admit that when we did the 82 tops break, there was some gum left over, and the next day I saw it just sitting there, and I ate some of it. Not a whole piece, but I just wanted to get a taste of it. It, it was calling to me, and I was fine. All right, our next one, it is a White Sox True Seekers. True Seekers took the last spot in this break. Um, the White Sox were the final team to sell, and True Seekers got himself a Michael Kopech autograph right there. Very nice. Michael Kopech for the White Sox. It's numbered 35 of 99. That's a good one right there. Michael Kopech, one of the uh, top prospects around uh, in that system. He's been here about Kopech for so long. Uh, pitched a little bit last year, but then, of course, hurt his arm and had Tommy John. He'll be back next year. Congrats, uh, True Seekers, on a Michael Kopech auto. That's the big one for the White Sox, if I'm not mistaken, in this set. So you got the best card. And Rich Kessler with a $2 Super Chat. Thank you very much, Rich. And Brian uh, Paul Brian Harms has got my Patreon stuff. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for your support on there. All right, here we go. Next one. By the way, this is box number 19 out of 50 for this first round. Thank you to all 800 people watching right now. And we have a pirate right here. So let's get right to it. No, it's not a pirate. I saw the P. It's a pitcher. It's Josh Hader. That's way better than a pirate. If it was a pirate, it might have been like a Kevin Newman. We got a Josh Hader right there for the Brewers, which is... Um... Brewers, Brewers, Brewers. Kevin with his second hit. Yeah, it kind of looked like a pirate. I saw that yellow P there, just kind of like looking down, not really focusing too much. And uh, Josh Hader, that's a good one. One of the top relievers. Crazy strikeout numbers. Reds fan says, I hope to see you at the National. I'm in Chicago, so it's easy to go. Yeah, I just booked the hotel the uh, other day, actually, so I'll be there for sure. It's confirmed, 100% confirmed. Literally right across the street from the... Uh, from the uh, what is it? DES, Donald E. Stevens Convention Center. And we have another super chat from Shane B. Says, hey, Jabs, love your channel. Just started a channel with my family. Got my dad back into it. Thank you. Shane B., thank you very much. If you guys would like to check out Shane B.'s channel, click on that $10 super chat. Give him some support. Give him some subs. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Shane. Maybe I'll see some of you guys at the National. I was thinking about I don't know if you guys would want to do it, but... Um, we have like a members only meetup or something like that. Uh, Matthew's coin and card collecting says, Eric, we use 17 update packs to try to find a Bellinger. We did 17 update um, a while back. It was in our 
um, mixer break of Topps update. I did a an update box from every year from 2010 to 2018, except for 2011. I did that in a separate video prior to that, but I think we did find some Bellingers, but that was before Bellinger obviously was having this monster season he's having this year. All right, our next hit, it is going to be a Marwin Gonzalez for the Astros. That one is for Linda W. So Linda with another hit, her second Astros hit. She had Mike Fires and now Marwin Gonzalez, and that one's 26 of 78. Marwin Gonzalez right there. So far, what's the best card that we've pulled to tonight? Uh, let me see. Probably, um, what, Jacob DeGrom was probably the best one, or Blake Snell. We got the two Cy Young Award winners. We're looking for uh, Mike Trout. That's the one I really want. I've noticed that Mike Trout's slowly moving up the uh, home run uh, leaderboards there. I think he's got 34, kind of gaining on uh, Yelich. All right, here we go. This next one, this is the first box from our next um, case, case number two. So this would be box number 21. Hey, Eric, are you still a teacher? Um, it's the summer, so I'm not teaching right now. I'm off, but yes, I'm still a teacher. I'll be back there once school starts up again. All right, our next one is, I really hope this is a trout. It is another Josh Hader. So two Josh Haders. Uh, they're in separate cases. This is the first one out of the next case, and this one is numbered out of... It's really tough to see because it's kind of on the infield dirt. This one is 22 of 37, and how about this? Kevin Jones says, got a great Patreon package yesterday. Pulled a Pete Alonso framed mini auto from Allen and Gitter. Holy crap. That is awesome. I'm really glad to hear that, Kevin, that you got a Pete Alonso auto out of that Allen and Ginter pack that I sent you. Um, I did buy a half case of uh, Alan and Ginter for myself, and I've just been distributing those um, at random to many of the Patreon patrons. I mean, I don't have enough packs for everybody, but a lot of the people who got new packs are finding those showing up. Uh, and I'm glad that you got that. That's awesome. And now we got a Josh Hader, and that one's going to Kevin H. Congrats on that one, Kev. Next up. Is Paul G the same Paul G as in other breaks? I don't think so. I think they're different, Tim. I'm pretty sure they're different. And Brian Mullaney says, we on break J. Post it might help. I'm um, sorry, I moved down a little bit. Yes, it's break J. There we go. This is box number. I think it's um, 22, so not even halfway done with this uh, first round. All right, our next one is going to be an Aussie Albies again. Another Aussie Albies rookie. We already pulled an Aussie Albies rookie in that first case. And now we got another one, and that one is for Wayne again. Congratulations, Wayne. And Dale Trent says, got my Patreon pack yesterday. Wow, great packs. Jeremy Jeffers is from my hometown. He really could have been a much better pitcher if he would have uh, stopped failing those drug tests. Yeah, I heard about that kind of stuff with uh, Jeremy Jeffers. He had a good season. What was it? The, the, last year or the year before, he was great. This one's 21 out of 26. That one is for Wayne C. Do I still do ball hawk videos? No, nope, not anymore. I had a pretty bad injury, and that kind of um, ruined everything. Um, the injury was mostly to my leg. I split my whole shin open really badly. And honestly, I probably bounced back from that after about two weeks or so, but my hand was what really was concerning to me, and I didn't feel like going and catching baseballs because I... I was concerned my hand was broken. It's pretty much 100% uh, now, almost 100%. Feels uh, a lot better. It doesn't really hurt me anymore. But for a couple months after that happened, there was always a dull pain in my hand. And I just didn't want to mess it up anymore. So I didn't want to go and catch home runs and knock it out of uh, whack again. Here's our next one. Speak of Jeremy Jeffress. We're just talking about him. And there he is again, 46 of 99, Jeremy Jeffress. Going to the Bre well, Brewers are having a, quite a nice break. That's another one for Kevin H. Kevin R.H. Congrats on that one. Another Jeffress. All right, our next box. Yeah, except for the nagging paper cut. It's, it's healing up. You can see it right there. It's just some remnants of that paper cut. Um, Justin says, when do teachers and students go back to school in Pennsylvania? Uh, it varies. Some go back in like mid to late August. Some go back after Labor Day. Every, it depends on the district, really. Here's our next one. It is a pitcher. It's another Michael Kopech, except back when he was with the Red Sox. So going back, way back, 
Um, what year is this? 2016 Michael Kopech before the trade. That one's a 22 of 29. That one goes to the Red Sox owner, which is Richard F. Gets this one. Very nice. 357 Mag with a $2 super chat says Yankees Dodgers World Series this year. Who would win it? Um, I'm just going to have to go with the Yankees to win it all, I think, in that matchup. Um, Dodgers have been there a couple times and just haven't got it done. So I guess that trend is just going to continue. And then Cody Martin says, doing a box battle with Dave Durango this week. That's pretty cool. Check out both of their channels, guys, 357 Mag MAGA and Cody Martin. And uh, give them some subs. Would really, really appreciate that. All right, so Michael Kopech, that's a good one. Two Michael Kopechs tonight. That's a pretty good yield. Two Kopechs. Let me move aside some stuff here in my 5,000 count box. Next box, here we go. How do we enter these breaks, says Matthew Chan. Well, I put them on my Patreon page. You can check it out. The link is down in the description somewhere. And uh, usually the teams that people, or most in-demand teams usually go first. And um, if there's teams left over, I put them for sale quietly in the descriptions of my YouTube videos. I don't really promote them that much. But there's some spots left for, I think, Chrome right now. Maybe several teams each. Carson's calling an O'Hearn within the next five boxes. Let's find out. It's a Marwin Gonzalez, not no her, but another Marwin Gonzalez, and that one's a 10 out of 27. 10 of 27. That one's going out to our Astros owner, Linda W. So Linda with another hit. Racking them up tonight, Linda. Racking them up. How do I get a $25 Patreon if it's sold out, says Bruce. Um, basically, once somebody drops out or changes their level, that should open up a spot. I kind of cap them um, eventually if a uh, patron keeps growing. I'm going to have to uh, just cap it off on all levels just because I won't be able to keep up with the demand. So just uh, I want to make sure I can get everyone's package out by the end of the month. And there's Comfort Cards. Uh, Darren C's here. Make sure you check him out, everybody. And our next one, speaking of the Rockies, how about that? Darren pops into the chat, and he gets a hit. This one's going to Darren C. Congrats, Darren. That one is going to Darren, who just popped in here at the right time. 10 out of 59. That's Corey Dickerson back when he was with the Rockies a couple years ago. Nice signature on there. And uh, congrats, Darren. I think Darren said he'll be at the Nationals, so maybe look out for him. I don't know if we're going to be there the same days, though, unfortunately. Brian says, ooh, need some Rockies and break K. I hope so, man. I know you have them for break K. I think you have the Rockies and Tigers. All right, here's our next one. It is a Yankee, another Dylan Batances. So, and it's a one of one. How about that? Wayne, congratulations. You got a Dylan Batances. Topps Archives from last year, 69 Topps Design, Dylan Batances, one of one. That is a beautiful card right there. Always like getting one of ones. That, that's our, is that our first one of one of the night? I can't remember. We had that one of seven, Blake Snell. I think we might have had one other one, though. Very nice. One of one. Uh, seems like a few repeats, says Jerry R. Yeah, there's going to be some a few repeats. I think there's 67 subjects. Tops had 67 players sign. So you will get maybe like on average like two, maybe even three repeats. Out of the first round we did, we had a bunch of Jed Lowry's and Domingo Santana's. But fingers crossed, none of those guys tonight so far. I want to say we had four Jed, Jed Lowry's, four or maybe even five. And 357 MAGA says, if you hire Chet Lemon, you can open more Patreon spots. That's right. Um, I'm actually thinking about maybe hiring a helper to help out with maybe some of the lower tiers. And then Preston Hodge says, if you see any Red Sox, Big Poppy, could you get some from my PC, please? Thank you very much, Preston. Preston and 357, check them out, guys. You talking about the National? I can keep my eyes out for... Um, Oh, Matt Chapman was 101? I, for some reason, I thought it was like 76 of 79 or something like that. I'll have to go back and double check. All right, here we go. It is a Mike Fires, our second Mike Fires. So Mike Fires is taking over for Jed Lowry here. This one goes out to the Astros again. Another hit for Linda W. So Linda doing a nice job with the Astros tonight. Mike Fires, not the greatest... Um, name out there to get excited over in terms of like value wise but still not a terrible pitcher but not a super valuable card but still a nice one to have it's another hit for linda 
All right, here's our next one. This one is going to be... Oh, this is a good one. Did you guys see it? We got a uh, multiple-time All-Star right here. One of the best young players in the game. This one is going out to the Indians, Justin R. Francisco Lindor. Frankie Lindor, 19 of 38. That's a nice one. Like that one a lot. That might be one of my favorite ones so far, if not my favorite. Like Frank Frankie Lindor a lot. A um, little bit of a... Is that a scratch on the case there? That sucks. Come on, Tops, right out of the case, and we have a little bit of a scuff on the case already, but... That's a nice one. Francisco Lindor coming up for Justin R. That is a beautiful card. like that one a lot. I remember when he was drafted, I remember reading over the scouting report. They thought he was going to be like a, a really good glove guy, but the bat was questionable. And uh, look what he's done with that bat. Been pretty darn good. Andrew says, what subject do I teach? I, I teach high school Spanish. All right, here is our next one. PWCC can fix that scratch. Yeah, they can They can take care of your cards. They can turn a PSA like 7 into a 10 real quick for you. Uh, next one, let's see what we have here. It's a Mariners, Tyler O'Neill again. Tyler O'Neill. That one's a 22 out of 99. It's our second Tyler O'Neill for the Mariners. That one goes to Gary N. again. So you got two Tyler O'Neills. Jacob says the Indians front office better sign Frankie long-term. They're not going to. Um, I believe their owner said, well, appreciate him while we have him or enjoy him while we have him, which is basically just telegraphing the fact that you're not going to have him that much longer. They're going to trade him probably next year. I even heard they were thinking about trading Trevor Bauer. I don't know. I don't know. I think you need Trevor Bauer if you're going to be in the playoffs. Don't know if uh, Kluber is going to be the same after coming back if he gets back. Don't know if Carlos Carrasco is going to pitch again this year. Um, you don't know if Shane Bieber can keep on keep it on. All right, here's our next one. It is it's a Met. It's a Met, and it is Brandon Nimmo. Brandon Nimmo, our second Brandon Nimmo tonight. Stroman to the Mets. Yep, that's the big news of the day. Mets are, I guess, trying to uh, shore up that rotation a little bit more. 7 out of 15, I also heard it. I wonder if that's going to set the stage. JBs, you're the guy to talk to. I heard that they were shopping Syndergaard for a little bit. So is this just something, because the Mets have been kind of crappy this year. Are they just kind of like setting up um, for a Syndergaard trade here? Maybe getting Stroman to take Syndergaard's spot? Uh, have to let me know. I don't know. Uh, there we go. Brandon Nimmo, that one goes to the Mets owner, which is James S. with another Mets hit. So James S. had, I think you have two Nimmos. You also have a Jacob DeGrom, which is pretty good. Uh, pretty good haul today. Three so far that I can remember. And Central Florida Pickers with a super chat says, pulled a dual game-used relic card yesterday. Chris Sabo, game-used goggles. And Jose Canseco, game-used syringe plunger. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much, Central Florida Pickers. Some crazy relics out there. I wonder uh, what release you got those ones in. Chris Sabo, game-used goggles. Good old Chris Sabo. If you have some Chris Sabo, send them over to my brother. It's like the running uh, joke on his channel. Kind of like how uh, John Wathen is over on this channel. All right, here we go. Our next one. This one is going to be, it's a David Peralt again for the D-backs. Another Diamondbacks card for Linda W. Another hit there, David Peralta. How much is a single box? Um... When they came out, they were like anywhere between like fifty to fifty nine dollars. They've come down a little bit though. Like someone said, that there's a couple, uh, there's a box now, or maybe a couple boxes for under fifty dollars on eBay, maybe even forty dollars. So you can get them for a little bit less now. I think maybe um, some people were a little bit, maybe like scared off by the risk reward factor in this. There is a pretty big risk re reward factor because. You're either going to get like Jed Lowry, Domingo Santana, or you might end up getting, um, you know, Mike Trout, Aaron Judge. We haven't got a huge, huge hit yet, but let's see. Um, big Harf says, if Linda W. wants to part ways with the Fires, I'm a big fan. So Linda W., when you watch this on the replay, Big Harv, if you click his note there, you can um, maybe get in touch with him and work out a trade or a deal. And Jonathan H. is here. says, oh, sweet relief. Super chat, how I've missed you. Finally, the shakes can go away. Oh, sorry. Hi, everyone. There's Jonathan H., everybody. Make sure you check out his channel. Um, he's up almost at 600 subs. Let's try to get him there tonight. 
awesome guy, gives back a ton to the community. Click on a super chat and uh, hook him up with some subs. Really appreciate that, Jonathan. Glad you can make it in here tonight. And our next hit is a Patrick Corbin, our second Patrick Corbin card, 23 of 99. And Warcraft says the Pirates just signed Eric Plunk. Well, that's going to make my brother hate the Pirates forever. Uh, maybe Eric Plunk is maybe a coach. Patrick Corbin, that one also goes to the Diamondbacks, which is another Linda W. hit. So I don't know how many hits Linda has, but it seems like probably like eight tonight so far. We're not even through the uh, first round yet. Very good um, very good choice from Linda. And another super chat coming in here, a $10 one from Keith M. says, have never gotten this product before, but looking nice. Have fun at the National. Uh, Keith M., thank you very much. Check out Keith M., everybody. And uh, by the way, yeah, if you're at the National and you see me there and you want to come and say hello, uh, by all means, uh, come say hi. Uh, right now, I'm in a little bit of limbo. My brother might not be going with me anymore, so I'm a little bit worried about that. I hope he comes along, but um, if you see my brother and myself there, come up and say hello. I'll definitely be there. I booked the hotel yesterday. Um, my brother's just having some headaches, and uh, I guess his wisdom or his root canal didn't work to get rid of him, so he's a little bit... Um, concerned about making the trip and having headaches the whole time. So hopefully, uh, I'm really praying that he gets that straightened out. Anyway, here's the next one. It is a Kevin Newman. Kevin Newman, this one is going to our Pirates owner, Dustin C. Dustin C. Kevin Newman. Congratulations, Dustin C. on that one. That one is uh, Kevin Newman. You might say, who the heck is Kevin Newman? But if you're in Pittsburgh... Uh, he's kind of been uh, the surprise of the team this year, along with Brian Reynolds. Uh, Kevin Newman hitting over 300 and has really shored up that shortstop position ever since Eric Gonzalez broke his clavicle. Haven't missed a beat at shortstop. Uh, a lot of fans are like, what are we going to do? Jordy Mercer's gone. Well, Kevin Newman's filled in better than Mercer um, could have done for sure. So hopefully that card can increase in value a little bit. We'll see. Next one. Uh, Chet didn't work, so it's probably going to be something different because he said, if anything, it's just been worse. So um, here we go. The next one is a Michael Soroka against so another Mike Soroka card for the Braves. That's a 10 of 13. 10 of 13. That one's going out to Wayne C. Wayne C. for this one. 10 out of 13, Wayne C. Back in the game collecting, BITG is here, says, can't wait until retired version. Hey, everybody. What's up, back in the game? Make sure you check out their channel there. Lots of great content. And yeah, retired version, I think, comes out in October, and that's a fun one. Um, I want to say, was it last year we pulled a Chris Sabo out of that? We also pulled a Nolan Ryan and all kinds of Hall of Famers in there. It's a pretty fun, uh, fun release, and all the cards are cards we grew up with if you're in your like late 30s like I am. I'm 38. Uh, they're cards from like the 70s, early 80s, mid 80s. It's pretty cool. I love that release also. So this one, by the way, that's a Braves card for Wayne C. So Wayne with another hit. Congrats, Wayne. Next box. Yeah, I want to say we pulled a Sabo and the person that I pulled it for. I, don't, I can't remember if they were happy or not. John Wathen. Yeah, I wonder if John Wathen will be in there. That would be pretty funny. Did you give the Brett rookie away yet? Nope, still waiting. It will be very soon. AJ Verdi says, I'm an O'Hearn fan. Can you send me all yours? Um, all those autographs that I pull of O'Hearn usually go out to other people um, because they're pre-purchase breaks. But I do have a couple of O'Hearn rookies, I think. Here's our next hit. It's a Eddie Rosario, our second Eddie Rosario. That one's a 7 of 19. That one also goes to the Twins. I think that's, what is that, our third Twins hit? Jason Z with another hit. Very nice. Yeah, there might be people out there that actually start collecting Mullins and O'Hearn just because, just to be uh, silly. And Torn82 says, Hi, Jazz fam, a huge fan. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Let's see what is in our next one. It is a Didi Gregorius 2015 Topps card numbered 20 out of 60. 20 of 60 Didi Gregorius. That one goes once again to Diamondbacks owner Linda W. Um, I don't know. We need like a like a little app here where I can just like press a button or something, have like a um, 
like a live scoreboard of who has the most hits during the break. That would be awesome. Too bad I don't know how to do anything like that. I can, bas I, I can basically just turn my phone on and get that set up. And even tonight, you saw I was a little bit late. I think I started the live stream. I created the live stream at 7.32, which is two minutes late. And then I had to like type in all like the, um, the text in the description box. And then I noticed that I forgot the George Brett downstairs. And I was like all ready to go. I was like, oh, man, I forgot to get the optic boxes. So I had to go get those. Oh, I forgot my opener. So pretty forgetful night. So sorry if I was about 10 to 12 minutes late. Here's the next one. Let's do this one. This one is going to be a Tampa Bay Rays player. This one is for Linda W. again. Linda W., that one is uh, 18 of 99. 18 of 99, very, very nice. Uh, we got our Cy Young Award winner again. Blake Snell, that's our second Blake Snell. We had a one out of seven, and this one is 18 of 99. Blake Snell. Get that one sleeved up for Linda. Check out the back of that one. There we go. All right, here's our... And Jonathan H. Jonathan H with the super chat. I saw O'Hearn in there. Let's read this. It says, I started collecting O'Hearn and Mullins, but completed the collection after only five minutes of opening packs. It's that easy. You can just open a couple packs and you've already got all the O'Hearns and Mullins you can handle. Not a good investment if, you, if you're looking for the thrill of the hunt. Jonathan H., thank you very much. Yep, there are a ton of those, it seems, especially in Topps products. Hey, even like Panini, we've been seeing them. And FDC Family Cards says, Hey, Eric, just wanted to tell you your channel inspired me and surprisingly, my 12-year-old son to start collecting again. Check out our channel. All right, FDC Family Cards, thank you very much. Guys, check out FDC Family Cards. Also, Jonathan H., give them both some subs. Really appreciate that, guys. And uh, Paige says, I may have missed it, but how are you eligible for the George Brett? Paige, it was pretty easy. All you had to do was go to... Uh, Watch the video yesterday and um, like the video, leave a comment, and boom, you're in. Linda singing, all I do is win. <laughs> she is very, very good at this. All right, here's our next one. By the way, this is box number 39. We only have one more box left in that second case. And it is a Red Sox card of Mitch Moreland. That's 22 of 41. 22 of 41 Mitch Moreland card. Any Dodgers cards yet? I don't think so. I, we didn't get the Kershaw, unfortunately. Fingers crossed for that one. You do have the bonus box, so hopefully you pull uh, some uh, Dodgers out of there. Maybe a Danny Santana auto. We've been seeing a lot of Danny Santana autos around. And this is our 40th box. That's the last one out of box number two, or case number two. Give myself some breathing room and move that box aside. Number 40. So after this, we have 10 more boxes. Then we'll do the optic. Bonus box. Yeah, I, I, I had two boxes left over, so we're breaking these, and anything we get out of these go to you. So if you pull a, uh, like a Kopech or a Dylan Cease auto or an Eloy Jimenez auto, you'll get that one out of here, truth. All righty. Box number 40 of 50. 357 MAGA says, does Linda W. have her own booth at the National? She could make some good money if she put her collection up there, that's for sure. She has so many uh, hits for sure. And Amessa Thing says, listing while I move my storage. Good luck all, Amessa Things. Thank you very much. Back in storage again. Uh, just be careful now. I know some of those storage units get pretty packed. Don't let anything fall on you. That actually happened to me at least a couple times. I had so much stuff. I used to go to Walmart and buy those shelving units, and I literally probably had like 15 of them in there. It was pretty crazy i actually did a video a long time ago for my storage unit and um i want to say probably like 2017 but you can go in there and, and check out how cluttered it was it was pretty bad here's our next one franklin barreto franklin barreto for the athletics that one is uh 22 of 57 another one for richard b congratulations it's your second barreto tonight ron was a recent subscriber thank you very much really appreciate the support glad to have you aboard all right, so now I'm going to take out 10 boxes. That's going to put us at 50 because I finished off two cases. There's 20 boxes per case. So I don't want to do more than uh, what um, what we sold for because then obviously the next break is going to get shorter to box or two. Preston Sports says, hit 100 subs. Couldn't have done it without jabs. Preston Sports, congratulations. 100 subs. That's the first step on your um, YouTube journey if you want to keep on going. Um, 
I hope you do, and I hope you keep working your way up the ladder there. Next up is, I don't know. I would suggest if you're going going for numbers, just kind of like don't set your goal to like a thousand or anything like that. Go incremental. Go like one fifty, then two hundred, then maybe like three hundred, four hundred. Um, makes it a lot, lot more fun to do it that way, and um, you won't stress yourself out as much. Like for me, I'm just looking forward to getting to like the next even number there. Maybe like forty thousand would be nice, and I'm actually my Realistic goals, hopefully in like two months, but we'll see what happens. All right, here's the next one. This is, we see there's 10 boxes left and Warcraft Ohio says, became a Patreon this morning. Love this channel, Warcraft. Thank you very much for the support. Really appreciate that. I'll try to get your package in the mail before the national. Um, Got to do all the um, older members first that are still left over. Then I'll get to the newer people signing up, uh, hopefully before the national. All right, here's our next one. It is good old Jed Lowry. He's back. We went 40 boxes without him, and now here he is again, Jed Lowry. This is number three out of 85 for the Athletics. Really hoping for a Mike Trout out of this. I don't think we have a single Angels card yet, and that's the one that I really was hoping for. In fact, I think a lot of these cases I did buy from California. And Robert Rathman says, did I miss Brett? Not yet, Robert. It's coming up very shortly. $3 tier does not receive a package. That's correct, AJ. The uh, $4 one receives two random cards, which, um, spoiler alert, I just did all those last night, and um, I, I put five cards per package. I just like, uh, you know what? Let's just do five this week, this uh, month. So you'll have a couple extras in there. All right, so here we go. Our next one is another Met, Zach Wheeler. Zach Wheeler, so what is that, our fourth Met? James S. having himself a nice break. Another one. This set only does active players. That is correct. And that one is 69 of 69. Zach Wheeler. Put that down in that box. Next box up. You can see this is all that's left right here. So we only have seven left after this one. Pop Culture Archive says, super excited for the National. I wanted to dig through those dime boxes. I'll be right there with you. Love those dime boxes. Heck, I might even just uh, try to make deals with some of those guys. Be like, how much for the entire dime box? See if they'll give me a deal on it. Like, I don't know, like... What I would offer for it. I'd have to, like, figure out how big the box is and then offer maybe, like, half price of what it would be if I had paid 10 cents, maybe, like, 5 cents a card and see if they do it. Basically, just to... Um, forward on to you guys and then linda w has 224 hits and add another one to it a dd gregorius rookie card holy crap linda with another hit make it 225 dd gregorius rookie that one's numbered 53 of 75 uh my brother picked up not this card but my brother picked up a dd gregorius rookie card today at an antique mall that we stopped off at for a buck it was the the tops rookie card um so he got finally got his hand on a D.D. Gregorius rookie card. He's slowly starting to pick up newer cards, it looks like, which is good. Nothing wrong with doing a uh, maybe like Forward Friday or something like that where he does like newer cards just for one day a week because I know he does a lot of older cards. All right, here's this next one. It is a Cardinals hit. Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter, that one is not... Oh, man. Is that a 101? It is a 101. Matt Carpenter having a terrible season this year, hitting 215. But I want to say he was like one of the runners up for the MVP last year. And Trevor M, you just signed up for Patreon. Thank you very much, Trevor. Really appreciate that. 101 for our Cardinals owner. Hopefully he can turn around. That's for Chris W. Chris W loves his Cardinals. That's Chris Wills. Congratulations, Chris. Very nice card there. Check out the back. Chris gets this one. Matt Carpenter. Jeff Norris says, but yes, horrible season. Think he might be done. Matt Carpenter. Hopefully he's got some better days ahead of him. Always liked watching him in batting practice. He was a beast in batting practice. He could always put on a nice show. Mr. Puckster says, Jabs, do you think the Twins will win the Central? Well, Mr. P, um, I hope you guys will check out Mr. Puckster, by the way. I picked the Twins to win the Central before the season began, and I'm going to stick to it. Even though they're, what, like a game up right now? The Indians have been surging. They've been on like a four-game win streak. But I'm sticking to it. 
I don't want to change my predictions mid-season. Bubba, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Here's the next one. It's an Indian. Speaking of the Indians, it's another Lindor. Another Lindor. And this is one of those Bowman Chrome mini cards. You can see it's a little smaller than your typical card. Let me just grab a regular card to show you the differential there. Here's your regular card. We'll put it behind. And so you can see it's a nice Bowman Chrome autograph mini out of five. You don't get the Chris Taylor. That's just that's just happened to be nearby. But that's a nice one. Um, that one also goes to Justin R. So you got two Lindors. That's nice. I like that card a lot. That's a nice looking card. I don't know if it's like floating in there or not. I'm a little nervous to like shake it about. Is that card floating in there? Like it doesn't look like it's held in check at all. You see that? It looks like it's just in a sleeve. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna mess with it. Looks like it's staying in place right now, so that's good. And uh, for some reason, it's like a super thick, super thick um, one touch there. So I can't even fit it into a. Can't fit it into one of these. I have to put it all by its lonesome in its own column there. Yeah, it's definitely different than the other one touches. It, it was a lot thicker. It wouldn't fit into a team bag like all the other ones did. All right, where are we at now? This is box number 45, I think. 46, 47, 48, 49. Yeah, 46. Donald Blomdahl's here. What's up, Donald? Trevor, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. I saw the notification. Gave you a little shout out when I saw it pop up. All right, here we go. This next one is another Mariner. It's a Kyle Seeger. And AJ V says, you've earned my Patreon upgrade. Thanks, Eric. AJ, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Kyle Seeger, and that one is going to the Mariners. Um, who's got the Mariners? Tamara's got the Mariners. Nice. Tamara. Seeger. Wait, did I read that right? Mariners. No, Gary N. Gary N. Sorry about that. What's the best pull so far? I like the Lindors myself. All right, our next one is... It's a Salvador Perez, and that's a one one The Salvi Perez. That one goes out to the Royals owner, which were the, I think they were the second to last team to sell out in this break. That one goes to Jason Z. So you got a Salvi Perez out for the season, but he'll be back next year doing his all-star type stuff. One of one. Very, very nice. Like that one a lot. All right. So we have coming out of this next one here. Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez, uh, 60 of 99. Another Indians hit for Justin R. Another Jose Ramirez. Patrick says, got my Patreon pack in the mail today. Some sweet cards. You're welcome. Thank you very much for the support, Jose Ramirez. Pulled this one last time. He's been doing a little bit better recently. At least um, he's not hitting under 200 anymore. Got that average coming up a little bit. The home runs are still way down from last year. Here's the next one. J-Ram's on fire, says Jacob. We have Max Freed. Max Freed for the Braves. That one goes to Wayne C. Max Freed, another one. I don't know how many. I don't know how many Wayne has right now, but he's loading up too. Um, that one's 46 of 99. That takes us down to our last one of the 50. This is our 50th box. And then we have 50 more after this. I'm also going to do an optic box here in a second. And the hit is a Paul DeYoung. Paul DeYoung for the Cardinals joining up with Matt Carpenter for Chris Wills. Congratulations on your Paul DeYoung. And that one is numbered... Four of 47. Four of 47. Paul DeYoung. All right, so that's 50 boxes down. And now we have our bonus round. Well, our extra cards. So if you didn't get any cards yet, you got a shot at getting some cards out of Optic. Jem Mint says, looking forward to your 77, 79, 83 Tufts box opening someday. It's, it's going to happen someday. I really hope to pick up at least one of those boxes at the National. What are your thoughts about Freddie Freeman? Um, Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer, for sure. 
Robert Rathman with a super chat says, doing the Brett at the halfway point. That sounds good. That makes sense. We'll do it right there. So right after I open these packs, these uh, the, not a whole lot of packs. Well, I mean, kind of a lot. There's 20 packs, but not a whole lot of cards per pack. There's four, four per pack. So here we go with Optic. Dave Durango says, hope you pull a thick Mo Vaughn out there. Pushing hard for 300 subs tonight. Only 25 to go. Big things coming up. Thank you, Eric. Dave Durango, thank you very much for that super chat. Check his channel out, guys. Click on the super chat. Click go to channel and give him some subs. Help him get to that magical 300 number. Any nice round number like that is always big for us YouTubers. All right, so there's two autographs per box here. And um, this is a nice Jacob deGrom rainbow card there, Berrios. Framber Valdez, we'll probably see his auto coming up at some point. Jose Urania there for the Marlins. Ronald Acuna Jr., Framber Valdez, saw him on the back. Jason Z says, just want to say <laughs> woo-hoo, Jason Z. You had a nice round there. Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Give him some subs. And Jonathan H. says, Dave Durango has an awesome channel, humor, good chat and stories. I love it. Love it so much that I have a special package going to him next week. All right, Jonathan H., thank you very much for the Super Chat. Guys, make sure that you check out Dave Durango's channel. Um, you heard it from Jonathan H., awesome channel. Check him out and see what Jonathan H. has in store for him. Austin Riley rated rookie. Michael Kopech, the rookies card. Bryce Harper. How much was the cheapest team in this break, and how was it? Um, I can't remember off the top of my head because I listed this about a week ago. Trevor Story. Michael Perez. All righty, let's see here. We have another Marlins player, Brian Anderson, Nelson Cruz, Loisaga, Danny Jansen. What happened about Zach Campbell, JBs? I missed all that. I was just watching one of his videos today. He had a really rough... Se oh, boy. I'm hope This is a nice card, but I'm hoping it's an MVP signature card. And it's not. Dang it. They have a really nice subset. We pulled a bunch of these autos. Um, they're older players like Keith Hernandez, Steve Garvey, Brooks Robinson, two Ken Griffey Juniors, Pete Rose. A bunch of awesome stuff out of that case break that we did before. But that was just a fake out. That was a current player there because uh, Miggy won the MVP a few years ago, beating out Trout. David Fletcher, Astudio. Dale Trent says, I subbed to Dave Durango. He must be okay if Jabs and Jonathan H. like him. Thank you very much. Bradley, peak performers. Rhino Hearn Auto, oh boy. You jinxed it there, Dirk. That's a big jinx. Hope you're wrong. 357 Mega says, Dave Durango's eight away from 300. That's So he's almost there. Almost at 300. Thanks, guys, for helping out Dave Durango. And thank you, 357 Mega. Um, I think it is all sold out, Jason. I just saw your text coming in. I'm pretty sure the second break is sold out. Now, maybe the Nationals are still available. I don't rem I'm not exactly sure. If you click in the description, there should be a link for break K. I want to say the Nationals might be the only team left looking for that Juan Soto auto. Here's our next one. Got a Kershaw there. MVP card, Peralta. Taylor Ward. Victor, Victor Mesa. Still no auto, dang it. Should be two coming out of this stack. Aaron Judge. I'm really hoping we pull an Aaron Judge from the next round of Signature Series. There's Aaron Judge, Diamond King. No auto out of this box yet. Yeah, we sold this box as, uh, this break as 50 boxes plus one box of optics. So, so just doing one box of optic to um, kind of like supplement the te teams that we've already done. Andrew Heaney, David Fletcher, Vladdy Jr. for the Blue Jays. Kopech rated rookie. Still no. What's this? This is our... We did a box of Optic as well. Hey, we got Kristen Stewart from the Tigers. Kristen Stewart is our first auto. That one goes out to the Tigers owner, Jason Z. Jason Z, congratulations on that one. Got the first auto out of the Optic box. Dave Durango's at 313 now. That's awesome. That's a huge bump. 
Albert Pujols, one of five. You think it's off? No way. I think it's an autograph, guys. It says signature on it. Albert Pujols autograph. Holy cow, that is a nice one. Chris Wills, you get this one. He's with the Cardinals, so that one goes to our Cardinals owner. Uh, that's no Ryan O'Hearn or Cedric Mullins right there. What a hit. Jonathan H. with the Super Chat saying, oh my God, <laughs> Albert Pujols. Yeah, Optic. We maybe should have just done another round of Optic instead of Signature Series. Holy crap. That is awesome. Albert Pujols. I don't know if you're watching right now, Chris, but that's a beautiful card. Surefire Hall of Famer right there. 100%. Albert Pujols will be a Hall of Famer. No doubt about it in my mind. Um, you know what? This is one touch worthy for sure. Let me gently put it down on uh, this stack right here. Let's get that one touch out. Where are you, one touch? Oh, man. I just knocked over a whole stack of cards. Where are? Where's my one touch? Oh, here we go. Do you think Pujols juiced? Uh, maybe before um, appearing in the majors? I don't know. It's really tough to say for sure. You just, I don't think he was ever caught using PEDs. Remember, he broke onto the scene in, what, 2001? And um, as a young rookie, was just amazing. All right, let's get that bad boy one touched up there. That's the wrong side. Pujols. That's a beautiful card. <laughs> Definite juicer, says Chet Lemon. Well, innocent until proven guilty, I guess. He definitely is not playing well anymore, but I attribute that more to his age. One thing about Pujols that I wonder also is if he uh, really is the age that he claims. Because he came in here as, what, like 20 years old or 21 years old? And that uh, was just awesome. And Dave Durango says, this is what happens when you uh, SB to me, AP auto, when you sub to me. Yeah, this is what happens when you sub to Dave Durango, you get an Albert Pujols auto. Dave, thank you very much for that super chat. That was pretty sick. Albert Pujols, that's the hit of the night so far. Hopefully we have one that's on par with that one coming up in the second round. We'll do these last two boxes. But Chris Wills with the big hit there. Good job. That's a nice break for you at the Cardinals. Will you do another optic break? If you guys want me to, Sugar. Um, I don't know if um, we're going to have time within the next month or two, but um, whenever there is a lull in the releases, like uh, nothing's coming out, we can go back and do optic again because optic was pretty nice. Pretty successful for optic. Some really nice stuff coming out of there. All right, so let's get that one put in there with all the other stuff, and that is the end of break J. So now it's time to do a little giveaway before we start up the next round. I just call it break J because uh, with optic, we did optic breaks like A through, I think it was uh, I, so then we just picked up with J just to keep everything a little bit easier on me. All right, we're giving away this George Brett rookie card right now. It's a 1975 Tops George Brett, beautiful card. Um, got this last night when I opened up... Um, David Marion's collection, and he said all these cards were for me or for my brother or for Patreon patrons or for giveaways. And, um, yeah, so I I think i um, giving away pretty much all the cards, or I'm going to give away all the cards, except for that Clemente 73. I wanted to keep that one. I mean, if I already have the card, then I'll – I mean, I only need one of it uh, for my PC. So I have no problem giving away all these cards. It makes you guys uh, – happy so makes me happy too all right let's go here with this giveaway i have to bring up yesterday's video give me a second i was running late so i didn't have a chance to do this before i uh, get all this set up i've got to go to my youtube page go to my channel then i have to find yesterday's video copy the link edit copy paste that link in here edit paste all right we should be good to go now I think I got it all set up. Robert Rathman says, can we get Jonathan H. some subs? Great channel. Yeah, I'm hoping that Jonathan H. gets to 1,000 uh, within the next um, couple weeks, at least before the end of August. He deserves it. Yeah, make sure you check his channel out, guys. I know there's about 600 of you already subscribed, but there's 920 people watching right now, so that means we can get him at least 300 more. So here we go. 
the winner of the George Brett, and by the way, you have 30 seconds to claim it. 30 seconds to claim it. And that is it. I forgot to um, put on my timer. I'll just count down from uh, 30 in my head. All right, here we go. The winner is, and the reason why you only have 30 seconds to claim it is because I don't want anyone creating a fake account and then claiming it like five minutes later. So you have to say, um, I'm here. Just basically say, I'm here, and it'll be yours. I'll give you the directions. But your YouTube name has to match the name that appears on here. If this says PirateFan79, your name on my phone better be PirateFan79 or you don't win. So here we go. Uh, the winner of the George Brett, you have 30, sec 30 seconds to claim it is... I'm going to go through all these. And... 460 unique users. So we'll pick a... It's Poke Sisters. So the Pokemon Sisters or Poke Sisters, you're the winners. I really hope you're here because you sound like maybe like some uh, younger kids that would love this card. Poke Sisters, you have 30 seconds. Counting down now. Poke Sisters already here. You got 10 seconds. I'll give you five more seconds, Poke Sisters. I just don't want anyone to claim the cards. It's not you. Five, four, three, two, one. Poke Sisters, time is up. Sorry about that. Breaks and Stuff says new subs today entered in a $25 break credit drawing. That's very nice. Check out Breaks and Stuff, guys. So mods... They're not here, so that's what happens, um, unfortunately, if you're not here. All right, so that just means we'll do another drawing here in a uh, little bit. Get that scrolled out a bit. Get these cards off to the side. We're going to move on to break K now, the second round of the break. These are all the people in this round. You can see um, we got some new faces, some old faces. Looks like Chris W's back, hoping for a great round again. Uh, Nationals, I think the Nationals sold. I'm not exactly sure. I missed the super chat. Whoops. Um, workbench card says got to meet Pujols once, and he invited me on the field during batting practice, and he introduced me to Carlos Delgado. Greatest moment of my life. Holy crap, guys! If you'd like to click on that 4.99 super chat at the top of your screen. Um, by all means, please do so. And also the $5 one from Jonathan H says, if you're the winner, don't do the I'm here. We will time you out. That is spam. Please don't do that. Jonathan H, thanks for keeping everyone in check. Uh, guys, sub to both of them. Really appreciate the support. And that's pretty awesome that you were able to get on the field and meet Carlos Delgado and Albert Pujols. I mean, that's, that's an awesome experience. Albert Pujols is a great guy from what I've heard. I think he's done that several times. Like, just kind of like seeing a kid, pulled him onto the field. Um... He's just he's awesome with kids. Uh, his daughter, if you don't know it, his daughter has is a special needs um, child. She has Down syndrome, so he does so much for the Down syndrome community. And um, the dude is just amazing. So a lot of people might not realize that Albert Pujols is just an awesome guy all around. It's not fake if he's out there signing autographs, pulling people onto the field, doing all that kind of stuff. Um, he's a cool dude for sure. All right, let me get my next five thousand count box here get a home for these next ones all right here we go our first card is going to be a yuli guriel starts off round two yuli guriel for the astros the astros are owned by philip l so philip l has the astros this round linda had them last round now it's philip's turn to get some strohs and you get yuli guriel rookie card is the first one and it's numbered seven of 99 and ABQ SC and T says, good luck on this break, everyone. Great job as always, Eric. ABQ, thank you very much. Check out ABQ, guys. Really appreciate that. Yeah, we'll do the uh, we'll do another Brett round, um, maybe like after a case or so. We won't make you wait the whole way to the end. And uh, if it does end up going the whole way to the end, then we'll just keep picking until somebody gets it. All right, here's our next one. It's Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton for the Pirates. That one goes to our Pirates owner, David B. David B. gets this one. David B., congrats on that. Charlie Morton. Charlie Morton really, really turned his career around ever since leaving the Pirates. He went to Philadelphia, got hurt, and then went to the Astros and has just really been awesome. 
And John Schmidt with a $25 super chat says, Hi, Eric. I have something I'd like to give away to a member of the audience. It's a Vladdy Jr. and Pete Alonzo auto from 2019 Tops. Guys, Vladdy Jr. and Pete Alonzo autographs up for grabs right now from John Schmidt. Check out this super chat, guys. It says, first to answer this question correctly to my email, john3 at jschmidt.com will win. Oh, man, here we go. Which player replaced Mike Schmidt as the regular and full-time third baseman for the 1989 Phillies after Mike retired following his last game on May 28th, 1989? Hint, his son is in the MLB pipeline. So if you can answer that question first to the emails, you're going to have to look at the Super Chats for the email. Um, what player replaced Mike Schmidt? Wow, looks like your giveaway is better than mine. You got a Vladdy Jr. Pete Alonso auto, and I just got a regular old George Brett rookie card. That's awesome, John. Guys, check him out. Give him some subs. Get in on that. Uh, so if you did not win the George Brett and you're here hoping to win something, who replaced Mike Schmidt? I mean, I have a guess, but I'm not going to say it. You have to email him, so don't waste your time typing into the chat. Scott Rowland, um, Scott Rowland's rookie card wasn't until 95 Bowman, Justin. So that's, I'll just give you a hint, that's going to be way off. I don't know if I should give any hints. I really want to start giving hints, but I, I don't want to ruin it. All right, here's the next one. Just think, when was uh, Mike Schmidt's last card? His last card. That's That's kind of easy. All right, here we go. A Freddie Freeman. A Freddie Freeman auto. Very nice. Freddie Freeman. That one is a 6 out of 15. You get a little bonus piece of gold something right there. I don't know if you can see that. A little a bonus piece of uh, material there. 6 of 15. That goes to the Braves. Wayne C's got the Braves in both rounds. So you picked up a couple Albies. You picked up some Sorokas. Now you got a Freeman. I think you might have had a Freed in there too. Very nice. Freddie Freeman, next box. And one of my boxes just shifted over there. I've got like a tower of boxes, a 5,000 count boxes I need to like put away. Jackson, thank you very much. Our next card is good old Mike Fires, but this time he's going to the Tigers, not the Astros. Of course, now he's on the Athletics. So that one goes to our Tigers owner, Brian M. And Chris Olson just became a new channel member. Thank you very much, Chris. Really appreciate that. If you're at the National, I'm thinking about having a member meetup with all you guys in green. We get a private invitation. Uh, there's a whole member community tab that only members can see on my channel. You can also do, we did a members only live stream the other night. It was awesome. Gave away a lot of uh, cards that I've been picking up at flea markets, like that 53 Tops Bob Feller, among others. And Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin, that one's for the Diamondbacks. 8 of 47. Another D-backs hit. This one's for Florencio. So, Florencio, congratulations. Very, very nice. Florencio, Patrick Corbin is for you. Next box. The Diamondbacks seem to have a lot of... Um, an awful lot of hits in these. A lot of Diamondbacks hits. Still need to find the big hit here, which is the Mike Trout or Aaron Judge. Our next one is a Max Kepler. Max Kepler for the Twins. That one is numbered. Uh, where's the numbering on that one? It's kind of hidden on the scoreboard there. Five out of eight. Five of eight. Max Kepler for the Twins. That one goes for Keith N. Keith N with the Kepler. Put that one in there. All right, we'll do a couple more boxes and do another George Brett try. George Brett rookie card. And John Schmidt says, winner, William C. Correct answer is Charlie Hayes. Rookies cards are one touch and coming your way. How about that? Guys, check out John Schmidt. If you want to check out an awesome channel that gives away... Awesome stuff there. Vladdy Otto and Pete Alonso. Congratulations there, William C. And thank you for the super chat and awesome contest, John. Our next hit is uh, Mitch Moreland for the Texas Rangers. That one goes to Linda W. And Daniel Holderman just became a channel member. Thank you very much, Daniel. Mitch Moreland, Rangers, Linda W. Pulled, uh, how many Morelands have we pulled so far? I think that's the third one. Next box.
You said Vaughn Hayes. Yeah, Charlie Hayes. I, you know, I, I don't know if I would have gotten that right. I was thinking like Dave Hollins or something like that, but uh, that obviously would have been wrong. Kevin Newman is the next one. Kevin Newman for the Buckos. That one goes to David B. David B gets this one. Kevin Newman. I don't know if we're ever going to see that infield again of Newman and Kramer. I'd like to see them again. In September, the Pirates had their two prospects up. Newman and Kramer was a double play combo. And Green Smoke just became a channel member. Thank you very much, Green Smoke. If the Wi-Fi is good there, too, I'm going to do a members-only walk around at the National. Um, hopefully, maybe getting in early before it even opens to the public. I have, like, an all-access pass. Um, so I could actually be there tomorrow if I wanted to be. And FDC Family Cards. Thank you very much. Also a channel member. And our next hit, it's a Rocky. There we go. Brian M., you asked for a Rocky last uh, round. Or you said last round. Save some Rockies for a break, okay? And there we go. Uh, that one is... Uh, Ryan McMahon. Jesse says, unbelievable. My first time out and it was clearly unnecessary. Um, not sure exactly what happened, but I do believe that the moderators will time you out if you do any kind of spam or poor language. True Seeker says, wasn't me. <laughs> Don't blame True Seekers. All right, here we go. Here's the next one. The Wi-Fi is spotty at the Stevens Center. Uh-oh. Skater Slim, thanks for letting me know. Um, fingers crossed. I'm a little bit worried about the break now because you said that. If there's bad Wi-Fi for the break, I'm going to have to scramble and probably borrow someone's equipment because I'm just taking my phone. I always just stream from my phone. I don't have, like, a webcam or anything like that. Our next one is an Eduardo Escobar, 72 of 99. 72 of 99, Eduardo Escobar. John, yeah, they're different. A Patreon member gets cards sent to them every month, and a member doesn't get any cards or anything sent to them on a monthly basis. It's just like you're supporting the channel. It's like $4.99. And um, I could do some extra stuff on YouTube for you, like a special uh, members-only community page, and only you can see special members-only live streams. All right, I hope you're here. Next winner for the Brett, you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. Poke Sisters wasn't here. Our next winner for the Brett is going to be 30 seconds. It is Gem Mint Mantle. He's usually always here. You got 30 seconds. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The one time he's not here. Time is up, Gem Mint Mantle. Unfortunately, you are not here. That means you guys are still alive. We'll do these a little more frequently. I'll just throw it on the screen and pick another winner. Until we give away the George Brett Top loaded or not top loaded, one touched rookie card. I don't want to um I don't want to spend a lot of time going going over the George Brett. Cause uh, the rewatch time, like if you're not watching live, you don't have a chance to win the George Brett. You probably don't want to sit around and wait for me to go through like 10 different winners till they're actually here. Scott Arms says Newman and Kramer, great combo on Seinfeld as well. Scotty Arms, thank you very much. Really appreciate that. They uh yeah, that's a great show. I, I used to love that one a lot. Seinfeld. And we have J.P. Crawford for the Phillies. That's for Gary S. Hey, Gary S. with a hit. And that one is numbered 6 of 7. Very nice, Gary S. How much is the Brett rookie worth? That's a great question. Um, in this condition, I've seen that this kind of card in this condition sell for about 60 to 70 bucks. Uh, with creases, about 20, like light creases in awful shape, about 10. So I'd say 50, 60, 70 bucks in that condition, somewhere around there. All right, here's the next one. Brian Mullaney says, got my boy Mondo in here for his first break, uh, first Sunday break. Let's get a Verlander flashback also. Charlie Hayes caught the final out for the 96 World Series. Yeah, I remember that, Brian Mullaney. Wasn't it a foul pop-up over in third base? Remember him running over, catching, and just going crazy. And we have Max Freed for the Tin Caps. That's the Braves' Uh, minor league or organization, so that one goes to 
um, the Braves owner, which is Wayne C. with a Max Freed. That one is 23 of 26. 23 of 26. Next up. Let's see who we got now. Hopefully it's somebody. Oh, it's another Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter, another one for Cardinals Chris W. So that's your second one. That one is numbered 22 of 30. Matt Carpenter. Matt Carpenter. Eric has been watching your vids for a while. How do you get in on the breaks? I saw them on my Patreon page. So if you'd like to support me over there, the link's in the description. Um, trying to think uh, what the next break will be. I think I want to say that... Um, what is it? Tops Tribute that comes out August 7th? I'll have to look into that. I also might do a bonus round of Tops Chrome, possibly, if that sells out. Might do another round of that. Maybe like a jumbo case if I can find one at the National. And then Jonathan H. with the Super Chat says, have to go away and read my kids a story and put them to bed. Congrats in advance to the hits and the Brett winner. Awesome as always, Eric. Jonathan H., thank you very much for your support. Make sure you check out Jonathan H.'s channel again, guys. Um, He's got daddy duty right now. That's one of the best uh, times of the night is uh, putting your kids to bed and read them a story. So, like, obviously, that's – I would do the same thing. Take your time. Um, we're not going to have them wanting to put us put them to bed for a lot longer. So I always look forward to that. It's one of my favorite jobs. That's why we're always live, like, after 7. We put the kids to bed at 7 and then get on here when we do live streams. 357 Mag says, Jem Mint is here. He was on John's live chat. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? He, he was here, but he wasn't here when he gave the card away. Oh, that's a tough call. Next up, we have Mike Fires. Mike Fires for the Tigers. That one goes out to... Mike Fires for the Tigers. That one's for Brian M. Brian M. I don't know. What should we do? It's like 50-50, it looks like. <laughs> Scott Harris says, my super chat went over like a fart in church. Did I miss it? I'm oh, sorry if I missed that one. Uh, where are we at there? I see 357s, Jonathan H is... Where'd it go? Brian Mullaney. Got your boy Mondo. That's awesome. Newman and Kramer, great, great combo. That's a good super chat. All right, here we go. Let's see. It is a Mitch Moreland 40 of 99. 40 of 99 for the Rangers. That one is for Linda W. Linda W. Stone Cold Tim says, you're opening a Pandora's box if you give it to him. Yeah, I don't know. You, you are right. I don't want to have a bunch of create a bunch of haters of all the people from last week that didn't win. And then Willie565 lost a... Yeah, I think you guys are right. Because remember Willie565 won the All-Star tickets and, like, he didn't like the video, but he left a comment. And then he, like, commented the next day. So I think we are going to have to repick. I, you're right. I don't want to do a Pandora's box. Next up, we got 13 of 53, Adubel Herrera. Adubel Herrera, that one is going to the Phillies. Gary S. with his second hit. Don't know how you feel about Herrera, Gary, but um, it's a hit at least for you. Adubel Herrera, not the greatest dude around, obviously. We won't talk too much about him. Brian Mullaney says, the man with two fires auto says, give it to him. <laughs> Thank you very much for that super chat. Either way, um, I don't know. Next up, we have Jed Lowry. Jed Lowry, 23 of 32. Jed Lowry, 23 of 32. Very, very nice. Um, if you're a Jed Lowry fan, that one's for the Athletics. Sean H. gets that one. Sean H. Yeah, I wish I, my brother would have asked me. I would have told him maybe wait until 10 to start up because we can be done by 10. And then we wouldn't have overlapped, and that wouldn't have happened. That sucks. All right, here's our next one. This is a Yuli Goriel. Yuli Goriel, that one is going out to our Astros owner, which is Philip L. Philip L gets this one. Yuli Goriel, rookie card. 
It's the second Yuli that we pulled. Here's our next one. Let's see what we got here. Oh, uh, really looking for that trout. Come on. Domingo Santana, the first Domingo Santana of the night. We knew he was coming eventually. Uh, that one's a 4 out of 20. There he's in his Milwaukee Brewers uni. So that one goes to the Brewers owner, which is Linda W. Linda W. picked up the Brew Crew in this round. Maybe hoping for some um, Josh haters. I missed a super chat. Two back says Sugar Phantom. All right. Let me go back and check. Um, the... Brian Mulaney says the man with two fires. Got that one. Thank you, Brian. And what was the other one that I missed? Oh, there we go. Aaron, is it Houghton? Uh, Aaron H. says, I hit a 101 Judge rookie card auto in this last week. Aaron, that's awesome, man. Guys, check out Aaron's channel there. That is really awesome. A one of one. Do you have it on your channel? Do you have your reaction? That would be crazy to see. Imagine getting a one of one Aaron Judge for your PC out of a box of these. That would be sick, and a rookie card, no less. That's a that's a huge hit. Congratulations on that. I hope we get a, an Aaron Judge, and we get a Shamanaya right here. Always hate his signature. You guys have seen it before. I've commented on it before. It looks like it's S M A S S. Smash, Shamanaya. That goes to our. Athletics owner, Sean H. Sean H. Gets that bad boy. Next box. You weren't filming. Oh, that stinks. Firemaster, how's it going? Next one, it's a Zach Wheeler. Our second Zach Wheeler, and it's number... What is that? 909 of 17. Zach Wheeler for the Mets. Nice uh, old design there from 76. That one is going to our Mets owner, Justin H. Justin H gets that one. The next box. Just getting uh, the next round ready here. Bringing up a countdown timer this time so I don't have to count down for the George Brett. It's always awkward counting down from 30 seconds. Countdown timer. So you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Next one, it's a Zach Cozart for the Reds. Again, numbered out of 15. 9 to 15. That one is for Aaron P. Congrats, Aaron P. Zach Cozart. No longer with the Reds, obviously, on the Angels. Injured, but had some good seasons there. And um, here we go. George Brett time. Hope you're here, everybody. You have to be here to win it. When the timer expires, it's up and we move on to the next person. Real quick. Tori C. Tori C says that George Brett was awesome. Tori, you got about 20 seconds left to claim it. Tori C. I hope you're here. Uh, Tori C. Green Smoke says, Jabs, man, I love your videos. Tori, all you have to do is say, I'm here, and you win the card. Five, four, three, two, one. And she's here! Tori C! Tori, congratulations! Tori C with the win. And True Seekers, you deleted it. You deleted her message. That's the real Tori. Because they are a channel member. I saw it. Uh, Tree Seekers, are we, are we okay with that? Tori C isn't here. Is there... I'm throwing Tori a wrench. I just threw Tori a wrench. So that we know it's the real her. Tori, you've won. You've won! Um, the message got deleted. I saw it got deleted, and sometimes the messages come up so fast that I've done that before. I've accidentally blocked people that I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, I saw it, and then it got deleted. But, Tori, you have won the George Brett, and I have your address because you're a Patreon member. 
and I'm gonna go subscribe to you to make sure that it's the real you. Now, here's the directions, Tori. It's actually pretty easy. Now, what I've done was I have just gone, I've gone to your channel and I've subscribed to you. You don't have any content. This was the person that won. And so now what you have to do is you have to just leave me a message in this video from this account and you have to tell me the first like five, four, five, six letters of your email address. And then just send me an email just saying, just give me your shipping address again, even though I have it on Patreon, just so I can like match everything up that you have won, just to make sure that someone didn't change their name to your name to take the card away from you. So uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is send me a message and I will send that out to you probably next month's uh, Patreon package. All right, so we have the George Brett is off the board. We'll put Tori's name on there. Tori C, congratulations. Very, very nice. All right, now that that's done, we can get on to the next box. Robert Rathman says, we need an O'Hearn giveaway. Oh, I do that all the time. When there's a lot of um, different chats coming up so quickly, like you try to block someone and you accidentally, because the little bubbles were moving so fast, you accidentally block someone you don't mean to. Tim Anderson for the White Sox. That's eight out of 95. Eight of 95. That one goes to the White Sox owner, which is none other than Linda W. Linda W. with another hit. You got a Tim Anderson coming your way. Get that one sleeved up for you. Congratulations, Linda, on another hit. Any more giveaways? Nope, not tonight. So if you're only here for the giveaways, thank you for stopping in and uh, watching up until now. And have a great rest of your evening. Next up is a Salvador Perez. Salvador Perez for the Royals. That one is unsold. So we didn't sell the, the uh, Royals, but I'm almost positive that I saw Tim M pop up um, on my screen after the break started. So let me just go and double check that. Tim M, was that really you that bought the Royals? They were unsold when the break started. And I said, hey, we still got the Royals for sale if anybody wants to get... Get on on that. And we got a couple super chats. Brian Mullaney says, oh, Hearn giveaway. I'd throw that ball back. That's funny. Brian Mullaney, thank you so much. And Dallas Pim says, I got my Wander Mo Mojos. Going to do a recap video soon. Yeah, I want to say that you, Dallas, had the best, uh, best overall round there in terms of Mojos. I want to say you got five Mojos out of that 30-box break, which is uh, pretty nuts. Awesome round for you. Congratulations. And yep, Tim, that is your card. I just verified that that is you. You get the Salvador Perez. Very, very nice pick up there. All right, next box. You need to get a slow-mo chat when we get our 500. Yeah, I think there's, I don't know if there's an option for that or not. I think I can like throttle the chat back so you can leave like one chat like every like minute or whatever like that. Next hit, it's a Rays player there, Steven Souza Jr. That one is going to our Rays owner, Richard B. Now, the Nationals are sold. Doug C's got the Nationals now. Just checked on that. So we'll write his name in there after I put the Souza down. Doug C's got the National. Hoping that, hoping that we pull a Juan Soto auto. That's the big hit from this series for the Nats. Yep, he's an X-Ray. Steven Souza. It's kind of an injury plagued career. Next up, we have a Max Kepler from the Twins and a super chat from 357 Maga says, How's Mrs. Jazz Swimmer's ear doing? Uh, she's been doing a little bit better, hasn't like been doubled over in pain, and she's actually having her wisdom teeth removed uh, this coming week. So um, that should take care of a lot of a lot of that um, problem. That's what it turned out to be. The wisdom tooth coming in coming in. Actually, wisdom teeth coming in like at a weird angle and hitting on, on a nerve. 17 of 20. Oh, Max Fried is a Padre. Oh, thanks for sh shouting that out. Yeah, the tin caps. I think you're right. The tin caps, you are right. The tin caps are a Padre because I remember sorting out the minor league um, archives or heritage 
and uh, seeing Tatis. So Wayne, sorry about that, but I have to change that freed to the Padres. Yeah, true seekers, I know. We, we had a, lost about 100 people after the giveaway. That always happens. We got the, uh, the real deal people in here. That's all that matters. Next up, we have another Lindor, our third Lindor. And how about this? A three out of five. Another nice low run there. Nice job, Justin R., picking up the uh, Indians. That's your third, Frankie Lindor. That's a nice Bowman's Best card. Beautiful-looking card. Nice signature on there. Very, very nice. Like that one for Justin R. Looks like we got about 23 boxes left, and we'll break the optic box and try to have you out of here by 10 p.m. Don't want to do a late night tonight because I... Got to get back to working on those Patreon packages. Our next one's a Rockies hit, and it is, the name is Ryan McMahon. Ryan McMahon, our second Ryan McMahon, another hit for Brian M. Congrats, Brian. Get that sleeved up for you and then put in the 5,000 count box. Couple Ryan McMahons. Next box. Fox and News Bad Women says, sorry I'm not on your live feeds hardly anymore. The news station assigned me to the 10 to 11 shows Instead of the morning show. Oh, that's all right. Um, thanks for stopping in when you can. Really appreciate that. And there's Dallas Foster. Says, just stopping in to say, hey, Eric. Back to reality tomorrow after my vacation. Hope all is well. Dallas, hope you had a great vacation. Make sure you guys sub to Dallas. And Toto Man says, hi, everyone. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, Sir Jabs, hope you got my message about confirmation about the trout giveaway. I want to thank everyone for having my back and saying I was there. Thank you. Yeah, the Trout um, Archives card, have it sitting right there with the George Brett um, in the to-be-sent-out little cubby of my desk. Um, I haven't gone through my email in a few days, but I will get to that. And uh, congratulations, Toto Man. Make sure you guys check out Dallas and Toto Man. Thank you very much for the support, guys. Dustin C. just became a new member. Really appreciate that. And for those of you who just asked when the next break is, it's going to be Topps Chrome. It's going to be uh, one hobby box and one um, jumbo box. And that's going to be on Wednesday evening. And our next hit's at Paul DeYoung, another one for Chris W. And it's numbered out of 10, it looks like. No, 12. 5 of 12. And 357 Mega says, buy as many Jeter rookies at the National as they will double in value next year after the Hall of Fame induction. You are a smart man. He's absolutely right about that. Especially if Jeter gets 100% of the vote. Um, just looking at Mariano Rivera rookies uh, around the time when um, he got inducted, which, when was that like? I can't remember the exact, was that November? I think, was it November? It was, it was uh, sometime in the off season. It might have been as late as January when they announced the induct inductees, but um, whenever he got in, his 92 Bowman went from about 200 to $250 for a PSA 10 way up to $500 or more. So it more than doubled in value. Same thing's going to happen with Jeter, guys. And Paul Brian Harmson says, ever thought about doing some live auctions? Paul, that is a great question. Check out Paul, everybody. We actually, everyone in green knows that we just did a live auction. Uh, what was it, like two days ago? It was a members-only live auction. It was pretty fun. Um, there was no money involved. I gave everybody some digital currency, and they had that to work with. And they they basically were bidding on a lot of the stuff that I've been picking up at flea markets over the past couple months. And uh, it was it was a good time. Since we, they only had five jabs coins, um, if they saw a card that they wanted, like the first person to say five got the card. Uh, and then poor uh, Chasing Donnie Baseball ended up winning a card for like, 1.5 Jabs coin, and he was just outgunned for the entire rest of the uh, the auction because anytime there's a good card that came up, whoever said five first got it, and he was stuck with 3.5. But that was for members only. There's Sean sticking up a five. Our next card, by the way, is a Marwin Gonzalez. It's a 13 and 27. That's for the Astros. Philip L. And Mr. Puckster says Kepler can rake. He was an all star snub, in my opinion. Yeah. Kepler Shore Kenrick, the guy's got pop. And thank you for the super chat. Check out Mr. Puckster. And Nathan Terpstra says, love your vids. More into hockey, but love baseball. Nathan, thank you very much for that Canadian super chat. Really appreciate that. Check him out, everybody. Especially if you like hockey. All right. Let's get into this next one. My dog is barking. 
I'll have to go and see what what up what's up with him. Ian Kinsler is our next hit for the Tigers. Back when he was with the Tigers there, now on the Padres. I'm going to start Tigers owner Brian M. Congratulations on that one. And it's number three of 26, Ian Kinsler. Has had a pretty nice career. If you ever see his rookie card, don't get faked out. That's Edinson Volquez on his top's total rookie card. Saw that one coming from my brother's break. Ian Kinsler rookie card is actually, it's pictured as Edinson Volquez. The Rangers end. We have another Albies rookie. That's our third Albies rookie card auto that we've pulled. That one is also going to Wayne C. So you got three of these, two Bowman and one Tops. Very nice, Wayne. Another Albies rookie card coming your way. Really still hoping we find that judge for Wayne. Find the judge for Wayne. Find the Kershaw. Find the Trout. We found a trot last year. Went to uh, Bill Seitz. Hope Bill's doing okay. Haven't seen him in a little while. Jeremy Jeffress is the next one. That's a 40 out of 50, our third. Jeremy Jeffress, that one goes to Rangers owner, you guessed it, Linda W. Congrats on that one. Next up. How do you become a member? The channel membership, the little green, when your name turns green, you get an icon. There's a link in the description that says become a member. There's a little button that says join. And Josh Hader, number one of 22. That is for, yep, you guessed it again. That's for Linda W. So you got the Brewers. Another hit for Linda W. Nice Josh Hader car there. And Tori C says, thanks for the Brett. Though I don't chat, chat often, I never miss the live stream. Oh, yeah, I'm a girl. Tori, thank you very much for the super chat. That is awesome. By the way, Tori loves her San Francisco Giants. Thank you very much, Tori. Make sure you check out Tori's channel, everybody. Um, she doesn't always chat, but, yeah, she always is in here. And um, she's been a Patreon supporter and a great, great member of this community. Uh, for some time. So thank you very much. And I'm, I'm glad the Brett is coming your way. Hopefully it fits in nicely to your collection. And Corey Dickerson is the next one. That one goes to the Rockies. What is it? Our third Rockies hit? I think it's our third Rockies hit. And that one's one out of 59 for Brian M. So Brian M, you're having a nice round there with the Rockies. Get that one sleeved up and put in there. All right, let's see what we've got. Yeah, I always like it when a long-term um, supporter wins a prize. Makes me happy. Eddie Rosario is the next one for the Twins going to Keith N. Where's the number on that one? It's really tough to see. There it is. Got to, like, play with the lighting. That's number 242. Eddie Rosario, 2 of 42. Kevin O'Block, he says... Best hit so far. Um, for me, I like the. We got three. I know you're from the uh, Ohio area out there. We got three Frankie Lindors so far, which were pretty awesome. Those were probably my favorite ones. Also, Jacob Degrom was pretty nice. Still have not found the big ones that I'm after. I'm after Trout, Judge, and Kershaw. I haven't found those yet. Yelich is in here too. Jose Ramirez. That's our second one. That one is number 23 of 29. 23 of 29. Jose Ramirez, another one for Kevin O'Blocky out there. Kevin O'Blocky is the uh, subscriber that sold me a bunch of those Bowman Mega Boxes. I bought a bunch of them off eBay, and I got the rest from him. Drove out there near uh, near Cleveland, not the whole way. Kind of met halfway. I think what was it Youngstown we met and uh, picked up the rest. I was like, all right, fam, we're taking a little road trip. Piled up all the kids in the cars and drove out to Ohio. Next up, we have Eduardo Escobar, 55 of 99. Yeah, we got that wander out of there. That was awesome. Eduardo Escobar from the Twins for Keith N. Keith N is starting to get on a little bit of a hot streak right now with the Twins. Looks like we have about 12 boxes left out of the 100, so... Jacob says, don't stop in Youngstown. 
Yeah, there's like, when we stopped, there's like this real ominous looking storm coming too. Like the, I forget what time it was. It might've been like seven o'clock or six o'clock and the skies were like pretty much black. All right, we got a Matt Chapman. Matt Chapman, 32 of 51 for the athletics. 32 of 51 for Sean H. Sean H. There's a nice card shop in, how's that pronounced? Massillon, Massillon, Ohio. I was talking to my brother about that. Um, if he ends up coming with me to the Nassau, I was like, we need to plan our route and see if um, we can stop off at some card stores. Maybe do some videos from there. Just be like, hey, do you mind if we give you guys a little bit of publicity so we can come and shop and film it? It'd be pretty awesome. DD Gregorius, rookie card again. Another DD rookie. This is numbered out of 24. And that one's going for Florencio. Congratulations. That's a good one. DD Gregorius now is really um, doing well with the Yankees. Kevin Ablock, he says, Eric and I were joking if a cop shows up and sees us pass, <laughs> passing cash for sealed boxes, they might think it's drugs. Yeah, here I am counting out tons and tons of cash. Um, I forget what it was. Over over $1,000 in cash for these boxes. And, and I think there were cops sitting there, actually. Like, there was cop cards in the parking lot because they were inside eating. All right, here's the next one. I was like, that's all we need. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's a relic. So our first relic... And it is a Tyler O'Neill autograph relic. It's a one of one. A one of one. And it is... He's on the minor league team there, so I'm assuming... I'm going to have to do some research there. Tacoma Rainiers, that is the Seattle Mariners organization. Um, Mount Rainier out there in Washington State. So that one goes to the Mariners, which would be... Gary N. gets that one. Tyler O'Neill was a Mariners farmhand before going over to the Cardinals. So that's a nice one for our Mariners owner there. Got that one put in the box for you and sleeved up. Oh yeah, Niles. I didn't remember the exact spot. I just remember um, the address or whatever. I knew it was in the Youngstown area. All righty. Dylan says, what's the difference between being a channel member versus being a Patreon member? I'm thinking about being one, but don't know which one. Um, well, Dellen, that's a great question. Um, Patreon, you get cards sent to you every month if you're at $4 or above. And look at this, another Lindor. And channel member, you just get access to um, some uh, exclusive perks and stuff. And this is another one of those mini cards. There's only five of them. We already pulled another one. So we got two of the five. And the case is so thick again that I cannot fit it into the uh, sleeve here to keep it safe. So another Lindor, that's the fourth, count them, four Lindor autographs for Justin R. Justin R, that's awesome, you deserve that, man. Justin R, actually, I I remember you said that your stuff got stolen off your doorstep or whatever, so this is making up for it. He lost uh, some of his brakes, I guess, didn't show up. It showed as delivered and um, they didn't show. So I'm hoping that UPS found them or um i don't know what happened with that but more than making up for it tonight and yeah if you want to file a claim against me that's um by all means go ahead and do it because um all we have to do is just boom um ebay says did you send this i say yes i give the, the tracking information it showed it delivered and then ebay realizes it's ups's fault and gives you a refund all right here we go Brandon Nimmo, 56 of 60, 56 of 60. That one goes out to the Mets. Justin H. and JB Sports Cards just became a channel member. JB's, thank you very much. Guys, make sure you check out JB Sports Cards. Probably out of all the, uh, all the kids out there watching, he might be one of the most knowledgeable for sure. Like, um, knows how to pronounce all their names and everything. Sometimes you watch breaks and um, people are messing up their people's names pretty commonly. Not JB's. That, that's a true baseball fan. Knows all the players. Mike Soroka, 101 alert. We got a 101 alert. That one is going to our Braves owner, Wayne C. Congratulations. You got a 101 Mike Soroka. Always nice to get a 101. And there we go. Nice looking card right there. Getting down to the end there. Another one of one. I forget how many one of ones we've pulled tonight. 
I'm gonna put all the boxes we have left on the screen right now, or at least on the table. I don't know if they're gonna be in the frame or not, but we got four and two after that. So we got six. These are the last six out of a hundred. Last six of the 50 in this particular round. Oh, so no Mike Trout yet. Let's see what we got. Blake Snell, Blake Snell, 10 out of 28, 10 of 28 for our Rays owner, Richard B. Got a Blake Snell coming your way. Nice. Anytime you get a Cy Young Award winner, that's pretty nice. Hopefully Blake Snell's health is going to be okay. Fingers crossed for the Trout. Trout or Judge or Yelich or Kershaw. Kopech, our third Michael Kopech. That is uh, 40 of 99. 40 of 99, Michael Kopech. Sleeve up this bad boy right there for our Chicago Cubs owner, which is Linda W. Linda W. Congrats, Linda, with another hit. Nice choice on the White Sox. A Trout one of one would be perfect. That's what I'm hoping for. Mike Fires for the Brew Crew. Mike Fires, that one goes to our Brewers owner, which is Linda W. with another hit. How do you do it, Linda? <laughs> How do you get so many hits? Very, very nice job. I'm going to have to have a large flat rate box for Linda for this break. Soroka's been solid this year. Mill 2K, Lowry, Moreland, and Freed, the final three SIGs. Let's see. Let's see if you got any of those right. We haven't seen many Lowry yet. Yeah, not right. That's pretty good. Delon Baton says 11 of, or no, 15 of 20. 15 of 20. That one is for Wayne C. <laughs> Fires must sign cards all day long. Del Batonce is a nice one there. 15 and 20. Wayne gets that one. Two boxes left. Running out of chances to find a trout. You've got to be kidding me. Mill 2K11, you, sir, are a soothsayer because you're right. <laughs> Mitch Moreland. <laughs> Rich323 just became a channel member. Thank you very much, Rich. This one is uh, 31 of 79, so Mill 2K literally just called this one. Um, you got the first one wrong, but he was right on. He said the last three were going to be... Where did it, it disappear now because it's too far back? It was... Um, Something, Moreland is the second one, and I think the third one, I can't remember now, but uh, I think he said Freed is the last one. We'll see if you got Freed coming. Mitch Moreland for the Rangers going to, you guessed it, Linda W. Congratulations, Linda. What do you got, like three out of the last four hits right now? <sighs> last box. This is box number 100. This will make 180 boxes of this product that I've opened. This is the 180th box. In the previous one that I did, we opened 80 boxes. I'm pretty sure it was 80 because it was four cases. 80 boxes before, and now 100 boxes. So that's nine cases, which is like $9,000 worth of cards, okay? Because I think these are around, when they first hit the market, they are like nine. 70, 950 after tax is like a thousand. And uh, they've dropped off a little bit since because I guess no one's pulling the trout. I've opened $9,000 worth of cards. I pulled zero trouts, zero judges, zero Kershaws, zero Yelich, zero Chris Sales. Let's change that right now. Yeah, nine cases. Patrick Corbin is the last card. Patrick Corbin. So, Tops, you got to put, if you're going to put Trout on the checklist, if you're going to put Kershaw on the box, you got to put him in the cases a little more often than one in every 100 cases or whatever you're doing here. Um, yeah, how many Jed Lowry's? That's the real question. I think six or seven Jed Lowry's. Dang it. 
I thought for sure that, man, we just had some bad luck that first round. Let's do some more cases. We'll find some. So that's the end of Signature Series. We'll, we have your optic box now. Dave Durango says, I spoke to a guy at a flea market who said he spent $30,000 on cards in 92. And after he sold them years later, he still got around. Uh, you know what? He got $5,000. He's lucky to have gotten that, honestly. Yeah, there's a lot of guys out there that I've talked to over my travels looking for cards that have just said like, yeah, I remember buying a whole bunch of Mark McGuire 85 tops for like $200 a card, spent like $10,000, and now that card is like, uh, I don't know, $10 card usually you can find it for. There's some people that really kind of wiped out their savings trying to buy, basically like treating it like a stock. Scooter Jeanette, nice card there. So all these cards in this box are part of the break K. It's a little mixer break. So you get 50 cards basically from archives and 80 cards from this total. There he is, not an autograph though, unfortunately. Our last box that we opened, I don't know if you were here to watch um, probably about an hour ago, maybe a little over an hour ago, we opened a box of this for break, Jay. We pulled an Albert Pujols autograph, which is, for me, actually, that was the best, best one of the night. Yeah, we got a color hot box here. You're right. Bryce Harper. Lots of, there's a nice Justice Sheffield. Color parallel variation hot box here. Should have another one in this pack. There it is. Oh boy, we got a signature here. We've got a signature. Guys, we have a sig. It's an MVP signature. Does anyone have any idea who it is? That signature, it's basically older players that won MVP awards. Scotty Arms, like how about that? Both boxes had one of these awesome MVP signatures in it. How about that? It's a Jose Canseco. You called it. I think Scotty said it first. Jose Canseco signature. That is nice. Uh, we, we pretty much pulled almost all of the MVP signatures out of this set. I think I don't think we pulled the Jim Rice one yet and maybe like a couple other ones, but how about that? Yeah, we didn't pull Joe Morgan either. Jose Canseco, like that card a lot. It's numbered also down here at the bottom. It's numbered 14 out of 33. 14 of 33. That means that goes to our... Athletics owner, which is Break K Athletics, Sean H. gets this one. Sean H., congrats on the Canseco. A very, very nice one right there. Put that in the... I'm going to top load that one right now. I love that MVP uh, signature series. Really awesome. Pulled a lot of those out of Optic. Very, very nice. Put that right there. His jersey number, 33. Yep, that's probably why they did it out of 33, to tell you the truth. That was a nice pull. Still got one more pull coming up as we have our hot box here of um, numbered cards, parallel numbered cards, continue, which is nice. Stolly Marte on the top there just got his 1,000th career hit tonight. Congratulations to Starling. Glaber Day is right there, Glaber Torres. That Justin Verlander, and it is a numbered card there. Faked me out for a second. I was like, is this a Verlander signature? Nope. Nick Senzel is not a shabby one at all. That's a nice one. Nick Senzel, a rated rookie. 91 footer would be great if it had an auto in it. Yeah, that would that would have maybe saved the set from being the worst of all time. I really hate, I also hate 91 Don Russ a lot. Like, that, I despise that set as well. The only thing that helped bump that up a little bit is just because one in every three cases or so has a, an elite card in it. Nicholas, how's it going? And do hard Dakota Hudson. One more auto. Just pulled a Conseco. Max Muncy, Acuna, Chance Adams. Corbin Martin. Cindergaard, it's not going to be 
an auto there, there though, unfortunately. Chet says, I saw a kid on my baseball team pull a 91 Elite card. Yeah, I pulled one out of, uh, I think it was 92. 92 or 93 Don Ross. It was a Fred McGriff. I remember my brother was so jealous because nobody ever pulled an Elite card. Like, that was unheard of. Next one we have. Nothing going on there. 91 Fleer equals hard toilet paper. Yeah, you, you must have watched Jack of All Trades. I finally got around to watching that. Colby Allard, Mike Trout, Urania. Thank you very much, Troy. Appreciate that. Rowdy Telez. Kyle Tucker. Kyle Tucker. That's a nice one. Uh, the Astros do not want to give up Kyle Tucker. There's some trade talks out there, and I think the Mets wanted Kyle Tucker as part of a Syndergaard deal, but uh, the Astros don't want to give up on him. There's really no room for Kyle Tucker right now on the Astros because they're so stacked, but he's doing pretty well in AAA. He's got, what, 26 home runs, hitting like 261. So if you got 26 home runs at AAA already, um, yeah, you're going to be pretty successful. Usually that, if you're a young player like Kyle Tucker and you can hit 26 home runs, usually that translates over pretty well. So that's going to be a good one. Good play right there. Got to get that in a top loader. That's for our Astros under Philip L. Congratulations, Philip, on that. Bad boy. You just saw Kyle Tucker today in Iowa. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he's going to be a good one. Once a spot opens up for him, get to give him some playing time. Maybe if there's an injury at first base or in the outfield or at DH. What did I think of the documentary? It was all right. I didn't... I'd probably give it like a B-. minus. Vladdy Jr. rated rookie. Jack of All Trades is a free movie on Netflix you can watch right now. It's a movie about basically this guy who um, goes over to his mom's house. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought for a second. And finds all his junk wax from the 80s, like 87 Tops, 86 Jose Canseco, rookie card from Don Ross. And basically he's doing a um, kind of like a documentary – to uh, figure out what happened in the card industry, and it ends up being to, like, what turns into what happened to his dad. Kind of goes off on that tangent. His dad was in the card business. Um, you'll have to watch it, though. I don't want to give away the whole plot, but it's not a bad movie. It's about an hour and a half, an hour and 25 minutes. Um, I'd give it probably, like, a B-, minus, just because it's about baseball cards. How many movies do you actually see about baseball cards, which is pretty awesome? So check it out if you have an hour and a half. I mean... It's only 950 right now here. I find it hard to believe, though, that he didn't know that his cards were worthless ahead of time. Like, I'm pretty sure that everybody that has cards realizes, unless you're on the app OfferUp and you're selling your, um, what do we see on there? Juan Samuel, like, 86 Topps card for, like, $5,000. Unless you're one of those people. You realize that the card industry, like, is just a shell of its former self in terms of, like, the uh, that junk wax era. Those cards from, like, uh, the mid to late 80s and early 90s. Yeah. He didn't think he was going to, like, get $1,000 or more for those cards. That was funny. Walks in there with a big box all happy. All right. So that is it, everybody. I hope you liked this uh, break. 100 boxes of Archive Signature Series and also two boxes of Optic. Our next break is going to be on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. I hope to see you at the National. We'll be breaking Topps Chrome uh, on Wednesday. So um, I think there might still be maybe like one, two, or three teams, a uh, handful of teams in each round. Uh, get them now before they sell out. And uh, if you see me at the National, me and my brother walk around, don't be afraid to come and say hello. Um, I'll be happy to say hello with you and maybe give you a fist bump or handshake or whatever. Really appreciate all of your support. And I hope you guys find some great cards at the National. And uh, I'll be bringing you a video um from there or right after there next week hopefully at least one of them uh and dave durango says thank you all for the 50 new subs tonight huge stuff coming up dave durango with our final super chat out the door check him out guys uh, thank you for getting him up over 300 tonight and uh check him up uh check him out and uh watch his stuff so toto man says i'll see you at the national i'll see you there um Hope to see you all there, and I hope it's a great time. And remember, guys, it's just baseball cards. There's plenty of cards for everybody. No need to uh, 
be hateful and all that kind of stuff. So um, have a great rest of your night. I hope you had a great weekend, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.